Hey everybody, it's Hari Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com and in this video, I want to take a slightly longer term approach, not slightly, actually quite a long term approach uh, to look at what is happening with the indexes and uh, how some of these technical patterns might play out. Uh, I think we all get too caught up in the day to day day trading or even the medium term swing trading and uh, uh, we, uh, you know, tend to focus on the immediacy of uh, various situations, but uh, it helps to uh, step back and take a uh, take a longer term approach and see what the charts are saying and what we can sort of not uh, forecast, but you know what we can look for so that uh, we can, uh, you know, understand, uh, you know, if something's ha uh, happening, then we can put that into perspective. Uh, so here is a one year daily chart of the SPX. And as you can see, we hit a high of 29.54. Now, here you see back in, uh, in October, uh, September and October of last year, we hit the same level. Now, we don't have to worry about the exact levels. We are just talking about some zones here. Uh, we hit this level and then we dropped about 20% uh, and then uh, we've come up to that same level again and then it has retreated. So this is called a double top pattern. And generally, in between the double top, you'll see like a correction, uh, a 10 to 20 percent correction, and which is what we've, we've seen here. Now, this double top, it came right up to that point and it has retreated. And now, of course, in the last few days, we are seeing uh, the index climb back up. Now, this double top pattern can be a very bearish uh, signal. However, it remains to be validated in the sense that if you look at from the bottom here, the index has made higher highs and higher lows. So here all of these are higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, all the way till here. And then it, it now this low has come exactly to the previous support point. So this support point is holding as of now. However, what remains to be seen is whether we get a higher high. So which means if it goes above 29.54 and goes up to 29.75, then this bearish pattern is invalidated. However, if the index stops below 2950 and then comes back down again, and if it makes a lower low, then this double top pattern is holding, which means that is going to be a very bearish uh, uh, signal. So why is this important? This is important because we can, you know, let's go take a longer term approach here and look at the S&P for 20 years and look at a monthly chart here. And this is what we see. And as you can see in 2000, this was the dot com right there. The dot com peaked in, in, in 2000 and then right around the same levels was the financial crisis. And then you can see what happened after that. So basically what I'm saying is if this double top pattern holds right now, let me go back to the uh, one, uh, one year daily chart. And if this double top pattern holds, which means this rally will stop before it hits 29.50, and if it turns down again, and if it breaches this support point, as of now, this part has not breached, but then the next one could breach it. And if it breaches this one also, then we could be seeing a pretty big drop. So sometimes it helps to take a, a longer term look at these things. And uh, so that now even in our daily, whether it's day trading or swing trading, we are looking at these levels and uh, we are also putting it in perspective of a longer term chart. Thank you.